having a balanced ecosystem on a range and training area might not be the first thing that people think of, but I can tell you that if you don't have the environment, um, you know, working in a, in a proper way, um, you quickly become out of balance. Looking after the range, is, it's like looking after our own, our own place, it's federal land. So we're looking at a, a lot of aspects when, uh, when we look at, a, a, at an activities. It starts by the air emissions uh, coming down from generators. It, it's also species at risk. The contaminants from the munitions that will be fired out there, we're looking at that. We're looking at wetlands, uh, grounds. Uh, are we impacting grounds by military maneuver or digging uh, during any military exercise? And we're trying to mitigate the best as we can all those risks in order to be sustainable in the future. Back to the British Army Training Unit here in Suffield, absolutely understand and actually care 100% about the training environment and about CB Suffield and the Prairie. So therefore, um, we want to stay here, so therefore it's in our interest to work with CB Suffield, the range stability section, to actually um, look after the environment and the training area so we continue training here. When we talk about range clearance activities, which are done again after each exercise, it involves uh, both a safety and environmental aspect. It's a matter of making sure that all of the garbage and anything else that builds up as part of the exercise that takes place, both live fire activities and force on force, meaning non-live fire, are cleaned up appropriately. And it's also a, a bit of a lesson and a training activity as well, so that we're educating the British training audience as to what they need to do to remain compliant with Canadian safety and environmental standards. Suffield remains one of the larger contiguous plots of dry mixed grass prairie and so we tend to find a, a higher amount of these species at risk here than we do elsewhere off of the range. Some of our notable species at risk here at Suffield uh, are the Ords kangaroo rat. Uh, we also have burrowing owls, uh, ferruginous hawks which is, which is one of the larger uh, hawks out there. Uh, we also have a number of small little birds, uh, the Sprague's Pivot, McCown's Longspur, Chestnut Colored Longspur, uh, and we also have a number of plant species as well, uh, the Small Flowered Sand Verbena and the Tiny Cryptanth. This is the largest training area the British Army operate in, in, in the world, uh, and the type of training we do here we cannot do anywhere else. For young soldiers and soldiers who come to train here, they go out in the prairie and they see wildlife they'll never see in the UK, you know, elk, pronghorn, uh, mule deer, it, it's fantastic and, and just the vastness of the area is something our soldiers don't experience in UK. Part of a good steward of the environment, we have to follow Environment Canada policy. And part of that is taking care of wetlands and not deliberately sort of interfering with wetlands that occur across the range. Whether it's oil and gas, grazing, um, DRDC research, or baddest training. And any time that they want to do any kind of a dig project on the training area, we consult those various maps and different interfaces that tell us where those wetlands, whether they're dry or they're wet, uh, to make sure that we're not interfering with uh, those, that important sort of uh, basis of ecosystem. It has to be a team effort uh, at CFB Southfield, and so partnering with our research partners as well as Battis and, and the other land users as well, oil and gas and, and grazers, just to work in concert with sustaining the environment, making sure activities are safe so that we can support these activities for years to come.